got to be here uh, ready to go at 6.30 in the morning. Like it was a hard choice, like for most people it's pretty easy because um, oh my friends are going to Kimball or oh my friends are going to Don Darrow, but I, most of my friends went to Kimball, but um, I just liked what I had heard about Don Darrow and um, I knew that it was a real friendly school. The people vote them in. So basically what I'm saying here is, okay, popular soccer team, based on the kinds of popular soccer team, who's going to be in charge of the family finance? It's a smaller school, so like class size is smaller, you get better interaction with the teachers. Um, small environment is a lot better, I think. I have three kids that came through Don Darrow. I went to Don Darrow, and these freshmen are all my kids. <laughs> we have a great time every day. What's your favorite thing about the school? Me. The, my favorite thing about the school is the staff second and the kids first, because they're so much fun and they're so good. Well, Don Darrow, it seems like Everyone's a lot nicer to each other. It's a lot closer knit. It's a big, it's a pretty big school, but still everyone's closely knit, and you feel like you know pretty much everybody. Here we have the lunchtime open gym program at Royal Oak Don Darrow High School. It is open to anybody who's a student here who can exercise some sort of self-restraint. Uh, before I came, I was in Germany, but I'm usually I'm Bosnian. I like the people. I like I like the school. Well, my brother and sister are both. I went to down there and they all, all they had to say about it was good, so I decided to come here. Um, well, the atmosphere of the school I really enjoy because a lot of the people are just really accepting of who you are and there aren't really any cliques. And I came to Royal Oak specifically to come to the school because of the atmosphere here. Like how everybody's their own person and nobody, like, if you're different, no one cares, and if you're if you're not like everyone else, you don't get made fun of. Um, the students, the way I'm treated here, um, just the environment and the teachers, they're all nice. How do you think you're treated? I'm treated equally. Well, I can't think of anything but nice things to say about Don Darrow. I think the students are pretty outstanding. They're friendly. They accept other people. They, um, you have the choice to be as unique as you want and still seem to fit into Don Darrow. I think this is a great place to work. I love being here every day, and, and I truly can say that I'm one of the lucky people that can say I love my job, and I really enjoy going to work. Uh, you really don't have to chase down teachers to get help here, and um, it's all really accessible. All you have to do is ask. There's a lot of great technology that's just right at your fingertips. And extracurricular activities, because you get a chance to meet more people and new people. Like the, for the languages, you know, get involved in those. You know, meet a lot of people. It's just involvement. In some schools uh, that I've been in, they, they seem to offer a lot of clubs, but what you find out is a lot of times those it's listed on the paper, but they're not necessarily very active. And at Dondero, you find that most of our clubs are quite active. You have to get involved. You have to join the clubs, you have to play the sports, you have to do what everyone does, and you make lots of friends, and it's just fun and enjoyable and something that you really like. I'm involved in tennis. Um, I was involved in softball, NHS, and German club and Model United Nations club. <laughs> well, first of all, we're the Don Darrow Model United Nations, and we are essentially a debate club. We represent different countries at conferences, much in the way that the real UN works and operates. You have to be able to speak the position of the country you're representing. Uh, we're taking a trip to New York uh, in the spring, and we're going to be representing the country of Sudan, which is fundamentally Islamic, so you definitely get to see some other points of view that you might not have known before. And the clubs are variety like SAD and Students for Better Tomorrow. It's our school environmental club. Uh, it works with, with the community. Um, we, we adopted a highway with two other clubs, and we go clean that up every year. Yeah, and um, We put on a hunger banquet. Uh, it's a little event that teaches a little bit about world hunger. Like GFC or BFC if you're a junior or senior. 
All right, I'm Sam Lynch. I'm one of the co-advisors with Perry Chikini for the Boys Forestry Club. Uh, we are having our second annual campathon here on the front lawn at Don Darrow High School. And uh, once again, it's been an overwhelming success. We are uh, having a lot of fun and raising a lot of money, and it should help us out a ton on our trip to Pictured Rocks coming up in May. And your glass of sports. Um, I guess just if you play sports, you're in a club. You're also going to school. You have to make sure you balance your time out, and uh, it's difficult, but you can do it. I'm in tr on the track team. Okay. You guys just started practicing. Yes, yesterday. I'm very sore from it. <laughs> so, as I say, a lot of p people that are really good in sports end up being really good students because they know how to work hard and decades. So I really recommend that people play sports. Dundee got a little. He got, they got a nice basketball and football team there. You know. I'm probably going to end up playing on track, you know, running track for the school. Hoping we'll, we'll beat Kimball. <laughs> well, it's Feather on the Roof, and uh, it's basically about a Jewish family that goes through some problems with discrimination towards the faith. It's, it's a good story. It has a lot of humor in it, and uh, there's some sad times, and there's going to be some neat scenes in it. Understand the lead's pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah, the lead's the lead's pretty good. The lead happens to be myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's fun. It's hard getting into it, the acting part, since this is my first show. But it uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm the editor in chief of the newspaper, and I am historian of NHS. I'm going into my third year on the varsity soccer team. Oak, all kinds of stuff. Bowling club.